Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. The internet was probably the single most revolutionary technology of the 20th century. It has defined much of modern life, from streamers, cat videos and memes, to educational content and whistleblowers. The list of what the internet has brought along with it is endless, some good and some bad. But with the power to connect everyone, the internet itself has led to a strange phenomena, the solving of mysteries. Even some crimes may have never been solved without such an interconnection between people. Let's dive in, starting with Reddit and a cold case. You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Reddit is a community referred to as the front page of the internet. There's a staggering collection of communities forming through subreddits where users can post about specific topics. One such subreddit is called RBI, or the Reddit Bureau of Investigations. It's one of the many subreddits dedicated to amateur detectives solving crimes and mysteries. For example, in 1995, an unknown hitchhiker was killed in a car accident in Virginia. The unidentified man wasn't wearing a seatbelt and hence sustained injuries that hindered his identification. A handwritten note referred to the man as Jason, so he became known as Jason Doe. This is because the police couldn't identify his last name. The note had a phone number, but no area code, leading to a dead end. For 20 years, the case lay dormant until 2015, when a Reddit user, Zombie Grey, began researching the case for herself. After posting reconstructed images of Jason, Zombie Grey was contacted by someone who said that the image looked a lot like his old roommate, Jason, who he hadn't seen for 20 years. Jason's mother also saw the images which led to a positive DNA test, confirming that the body was, in fact, her late son. This gave her closure, albeit 20 years later. The internet has also been used to save lives. In 2013, a California teen by the name of Jackie Rosas had been following the Tumblr blog of a depressed girl in New Jersey. One day, the girl had blogged that she was going to commit suicide. Jackie jumped into action, but without knowing the girl's last name or even what part of the country she was in, Jackie had a difficult task ahead of her. With a small amount of information extracted from the girl's Tumblr posts, Jackie got the police involved with the lead. The police gave a photo of the girl to the local high school, but they said that she didn't attend that school. Diving into the Tumblr posts, they discovered that she posted about loving the UHS marching band. They had to find a county or a town with those initials. Searching through even more old Tumblr posts and YouTube videos, the police and some other concerned citizens began trying to decode the location. Heather Oslin, an officer at the local high school, pieced together that it was a Union Township in New Jersey from a fragment of a newspaper article. The police contacted their colleagues in New Jersey, who were immediately dispatched to the teen's house. They found her overdosing on medication and rushed her to hospital. Just eight hours after Jackie had raised the alarm, the girl was found and saved. It's fair to say that the actions of Jackie saved her life. And this wasn't the only time that the internet solved a mystery that led to saving someone's life. In 2015, a Reddit user posted on the site saying something odd. He'd been finding random post-it notes around his apartment. The post-it notes were reminders of tasks that he needed to do. The strange thing was, he hadn't spoken to anyone about these tasks. He started freaking out. Was someone else in his apartment? How did they know his schedule? The man began to suspect that it was his landlord that was placing the notes. He asked Reddit for legal advice. In reply, one user in the Reddit community suggested that perhaps the man writing the notes was himself. The Reddit user suggested checking for a carbon monoxide leak. Sure enough, after the man set up a carbon monoxide detector in his apartment, he discovered high levels of the odorless gas. A leak had caused the man to black out and forget about writing the notes. In fact, the level of carbon monoxide was so high that it could have been deadly. So not only did the combined knowledge of the Reddit community help solve this mystery, but it may have saved this man's life as well. Other online mysteries are simply just strange. In 2013, a mysterious YouTube channel was created that raised a lot of questions. The channel only uploaded specific creepy videos with different sized red and blue squares on a white background. A constant ringing tone was the only audio. 
To add to the mystery, the channel uploaded at a rate of one video every 20 seconds. Who would have the time to do this, and what was its purpose? The internet community was puzzled. The channel only uploaded two videos that didn't fit this format. The first was a short cartoon clip which cost the viewer two euros and was only available in France. The second was a video of the Eiffel Tower lit up at night. The channel had only ever made one lone comment. On the Eiffel Tower video, the comment stated, Matei is highly intelligent. Who was this mysterious Matei? There was a lot of questions. The internet community began working to decipher the cryptic videos. The puzzle remained unsolved for several months until an Italian blogger cracked it. It turns out that the channel was made by Google's Zurich office in order to test video upload quality. A simple end to a mysteriously confusing channel. Actor Shia LaBeouf wasn't happy about the results of the 2016 presidential election, so he decided to make an art installation with the words, he will not divide us, on a wall. There was a camera live streaming so people could come to the wall and say whatever they wanted. The problem was, people from 4chan kept messing with it. So he moved the location of the art installation and it happened again. Fed up, Shia LaBeouf decided to put up a flag with the same words in an unknown location so nobody could mess with it. This time, it was just a live stream of the flag with the sky in the background, and that would make it impossible to tell where it is. Right? Wrong. 4chan saw this as a challenge. Soon, people across the globe began scanning every pixel of that live stream. They analyzed flight patterns from the condensation trails of the aircraft in the background. They looked at weather patterns and wind velocities, constellation locations in the sky, and even the sounds of the wildlife around the area. Combining all of their knowledge, within one day, they found where the flag was, and they messed with it. It just goes to show that when many minds are put together onto a shared problem, it can be solved easily. This is an inconsequential example, but perhaps a more pertinent one was that time when 4chan, with very little information, managed to find an ISIS training facility in Syria and called in a Russian airstrike to get the place bombed. So a bunch of trolls on the internet put the heavily funded CIA, NSA and FBI to shame. An even more amazing example of this is how gamers on the internet came together to push medical science forward. Research into curing diseases such as cancer has been slowed down due to a natural problem with the way that molecules fold. Ete RNA is a game developed by researchers trying to crack these real life mysteries and create new medications. After the game was released, hundreds of thousands of people flocked to the site. Users began learning about how molecules fold and the rules that govern that folding. The community grew, and soon, non-experts began reading about science and teaching each other. These gamers actually beat a supercomputer in a molecule folding challenge. As a result, many of the molecules designed by users have been deployed in tests to create new medications and make leaps towards cures for diseases. By 2011, over 300 designs were synthesized and results were even published in medical journals, with gamers being listed as co-authors. The company also has biomedical challenges where users focus their efforts on common goals. OpenTB challenges users to find a way to use RNA to detect tuberculosis in the gene structure of patients, while OpenCRISPR focuses on improving the quality of CRISPR technologies. Foldit is another game which has much the same purpose as ETA RNA but focuses on proteins instead. In this case, the power of the people over the internet is being used to solve mysteries governing our natural world. Pretty amazing stuff. So the internet has had a dramatic effect on the way that we communicate and what we do with that information. But so far, it's also been used to solve cold cases, prevent suicide, fight terrorism, and potentially create medical breakthroughs. As more people from the farthest reaches of the world gain internet access, who knows how we'll use this power of connection and what mysteries will finally be uncovered and solved. But more importantly, it also goes to show that when we all put our minds towards a common goal, we can easily achieve it through our distributed mental ability. What was your favorite mystery solved by the internet? And leave a comment if you know of any other stories in the comment section below. So that just about wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. This has been Dagogo and you've been watching Cold Fusion. If you did like this video and want to see more interesting stuff, you should definitely consider subscribing.
So I'll see you again soon for the next video. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.